fitting a blowpipe for your bagpipe is a very important part of your bagpipe. A lot of people just take for granted the size of the blowpipe that comes with them and we have to make sure that our blowpipe does fit us so that our instrument is fitted to us just like a pair of shoes would be. I brought two older style blowpipes here. This set of pipes from the 1920s and this set of pipes from 1960s. Both of them are 12 inch long blowpipes which would be very long to any bagpiper uh, but this was the standard of the blowpipe you would get with a new set of pipes. So you made it work. Back in those days you were dealing with an instrument that was tied into a hide bag so you could position the blowpipe stock in the bag further away from you so as to make a 12 inch blowpipe work for you. Today most of our synthetic bags are pre-cut or grommeted so it's a fixed location. Now we need to have some adjustment to the, the length of a blowpipe so that it is not affecting the overall uh, performance of your, your bagpipe. If you are dealing with a, a blowpipe that is too long, you will tend to compensate your bagpipe and push the instrument away from the body and onto the forearm and allowing the drones to lay over the shoulder, creating bad posture and also restricting the forearm dexterity in the left hand. So it's very important that we make sure that our blowpipe to the bag to the mouth is the right, the right length. One of the ways we've done that um, is by in introducing a lot of telescoping blowpipes that adjust for the player. Um, for a young student who maybe just be before his growth spurt you're dealing with a blowpipe that will grow with him so over a three four year period you do not have to replace a an actual uh, blowpipe just extending it and, and creating a bagpipe that fits that particular student. A telescoping blowpipe is a fairly simple idea has a locking nut they all have locking nuts on them of some sort and by unloosening that locking nut we can lengthen or shorten the blowpipe. When you first get a adjustable blowpipe, sometimes they're a little tough to get loose. By unloosen, uh, unloosening the locking nut fully and then getting the telescoping adjustment started usually is enough to get the thing working freely. After you find your, your particular length, you want to lock that blowpipe down and then you can adjust it according to your height and the, the size of the pipe bag that you are playing. After you've locked in your blowpipe to the length that you're using it at, you still technically could adjust the length very minor to a, for, for minor adjustments, I should say. But it's not a complete lockdown, so it, it's just a good snug fit. It is airtight, should be, should be no moisture or air leaking through this joint. A couple of options that we have in, uh, in brands of blowpipe, one of, the, one of the most popular that is out there is called the Airstream. The Airstream is famous for the oval mouthpiece with a fairly heavy rubber mouthpiece uh, protector over the oval. This mouthpiece, the blowpipe, comes in three sections where we have a screw on and off mouthpiece which can be replaced if you need longer or shorter and then also one of the features to the air airstream is the fact that it has its own internal valve. The internal valve is inside the stem and can be located by unscrewing the hemp line tendon. It's a fairly heavy coarse thread. If you haven't loosened this over a period of time this can, because of saliva building up and drying, this can be a fairly tight fitting and you have to be careful, but you can see it's a fairly coarse thread and it does loosen. The valve is seated inside, inside here and these replacement valves are available. You also want to make sure that when um, a maintenance on these, on, on any blowpipe, is to keep it clean and free of any kind of debris, um, especially on the internal valve style blowpipes. 
you want to make sure that the seat on the inside is clean so that the rubble, rubber seal will sit firmly against it. So to insert this, you want to make sure it's down there, nice and clean, seating it in there, and then again, coming back with the coarse thread, threading on the blowpipe. Many, many people have problems getting this started and broke, broken free, or loosened, I should say, and what you're looking at is you can take a small pair of pliers on the hemp line, not on the finished surfaces, and you can break it free and it'll help you get it started. Or a rubber grip or rubber gloves sometimes does help also. So once you get that back in there, you can clean up your hemp line. And that's basically your airstream. The airstream comes in in a, a fixed lengths of 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 inches. It comes with a projection mount or it also can come with a black uh, imitation uh, projection mount. Airstream also, quite recently, has come out with a, an adjustable Airstream blowpipe. Still has the internal valve, internal valve, and it has their famous Airstream mouthpiece. Same idea with the locking nut. Another one of our popular products, the Flexi Stick, made by R.G. Hardy. It is a um, it is a telescoping mouthpiece or stem. It is a swivel ball joint for maxim maximum uh, comfort and it also has the internal valve which works just as the Airstream unscrews from the bottom for cleaning and for replacing the valve. On the flexi stick we are looking at it does come with two different lengths for your junior players or shorter players and then also for your maximum length of must be upwards of 12, 13 inches. The third, uh, third and fourth option on the flexi stick is the fact that the actual mouthpiece tip unscrews allowing you to either use the oval or the round mouthpiece. With the flexi stick you are looking at the a ball joint which is on a pivot and there's also a locking screw that allows you to adjust the blowpipe to the direction you would like and then it can be locked down so that it would stay in that position keeping the, the mouthpiece towards the mouth at any time if you were to lose the blowpipe in the mouth. Flexi sticks only are available with the imitation ivory projecting mount. 